All right, good morning, everyone. It is the AM Icebreaker for Monday, April 9th. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Hope it was productive or relaxing, whichever one you felt like you needed. Mine was pretty good. Like I told, like I mentioned, uh, Friday, went down to Portland to roll with uh, the folks, fine folks at 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu in Portland. And if you're in the Portland area, I would definitely check them out. If you were anywhere near Portland, they have a great open mat Friday night, uh, and they have a great open Jiu Jitsu class on Sunday afternoon. So I recommend you check either one of those out if you're not in the area. And uh, yeah, show those guys some love. They've been really, really welcoming to all of us. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get them up to Seattle sometime to either hang out at our open mat. Uh, great guys, great guys and gals, love, love rolling with them. And um, getting to roll down there uh, actually made me think about some really interesting stuff this weekend. And, when, uh, and, and it sort of turned into this, this take on, on, a, on another idea that I'm gonna talk about. So it's gonna seem a little disconnected at first, but um, but one of, one of the cool things about rolling at 10th Planet Portland was I got to roll with some with, with a very, very broad set of experience. You know, like the first guy I drilled with was this absolute just murderer, you know, really nice guy. I mean, you know, really helped me out a lot, gave me a lot of great tips. But, you know, I mean, he's been on the mats for 20 years, was a wrestler, did some MMA, basically was just eating my lunch. And uh, But it was fun to roll with. <clears throat> and then the second guy I rolled with was a guy who was a little closer to my, my skill level. You know, it was kind of back and forth. You know, he tapped me a couple times, I tapped him, we were kind of... You know, escaping each other, and um, <clears throat> and so and that and that was fun. And um, what what it made me really appreciate was getting the uh, like, like just getting those getting getting to get those two perspectives side by side. And uh, it, it was funny because on the way back, I was thinking about the value of that idea, and, and I started thinking about this thing that people that you've probably heard all the time, especially if you're in the fitness industry, or if you're uh, if you're an entrepreneur. Um, which, which by the way, I, I don't consider myself. I, I actually don't like that term, and I don't. I'm not one of those people who thinks entrepreneur is a job. But that's a whole other conversation. And but I was thinking, you know, you hear a statement all the time, that like, oh, don't be the smartest person in the room. If you're if you're the smartest person in the room, leave the room. And uh, I've always been bothered by that for some reason, just because. I mean, I I, I get the intent of the statement, but <clears throat> and and you guys know me. I'm mean, I'm I'm all about hashtag always a white belt, always be learning, but. I think with a lot of things, I think that's a very extreme statement, and like a lot of things, I, I think the, the truth kind of lies either somewhere, somewhere maybe along the edges or more towards the center, but not all the way out at the boundaries, uh, which is, uh, that's kind of a weird, arty statement, but, and what I mean in this case is a, is a bunch of things. I mean, one, it's, it's not necessarily bad to, to always be the smartest person in the room, and two, I don't think there's... I don't think it's always there's always something noble about being the dumbest person in the room either. You know, I mean, and like I said, I get it. The intent is that like <clears throat> you know that you're there, open minded. Your your cup is empty. You're there to learn. But you, you know, in my experience, I, I've, I've you get to see the value of of both. I mean, and not I don't mean to call anybody out with this, but on on the one hand, I, I gotta say if if you don't ever get to a point where you find yourself the smartest person in the room with a reason. I, I kind of wonder what, what have you been, what is your skill development all about? I mean, me personally, like in my professional life right now, I mean, I, I get hired to be the smartest person in the room. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, you know, when, when some art team or some project team says, hey, like we need you to come in and do this because you're the guy. It's like, well, okay, that cool. Yeah, I spent a lot of time building up this skill set so I could be that at some point. But Again, the real answer is part of, of of developing that. Part of getting to where you are, the smartest person in the world, means you understand. Or in the room, means that you understand that sometimes you gotta ask questions. You know, I mean, I don't ever go into a job saying, "Well, okay, yeah, maybe." Like, I, I know everything I need to know. It's like I might I might know more than everybody else, but really, what I know is is what I need to learn and how to learn what I need to learn. And this is something I've talked about a lot, um, which I'm happy to rehash if anybody's interested. And the flip side is, you know, sometimes it's okay to maybe be near the bottom, you know, like, yeah, like I said, I don't think there's nobility in being the, the dumbest person in the room, but, but definitely being near the bottom, you know, I mean, there's, you know, because, because A, you only have anywhere to go but up, but again, don't get so hung up on that idea of not being the smartest person in the room that you, that you don't go up, right? I guess is what I'm, is what I'm going to say there. So ultimately what I'm saying is, you know, is, is obviously stay open-minded, stay learning, but like I've said, like I said a bunch of times, if that time comes, you know, you know, be that. Don't, don't, don't just jump out of the room or don't just jump out of the gym because you're the smartest or the strongest person there. I mean, because, you know, to, to kind of wrap this all up, maybe 
maybe it's your time to start giving back. Maybe it's your time to be that person up there so you can start kind of, you know, helping the folks at the bottom come up or so you can help the other folks that are almost at the top get up there. So like that, that kind of like started somewhere and went somewhere completely different. But that, that's really what I want to say to you guys. Like, don't, don't, don't be afraid to be the smartest person in the world. Don't be afraid to do your work. Obviously, don't be afraid to be like near the, you know, to be the little fish in, in, in a pond. But if you're the big fish, you know, take some stock, see what's going on, see why you're there. And if there's, if there's value in you being the big fish, be the big fish. All right. That's what I got. Cheers, guys.